Hello YouTube, I am back with a new video. Today I will be discussing a question that was asked in the recent interview. So before I start, please do like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Let's look at the details provided for the circuit in picture. T clock to Q max which is 50 picosecond, T clock to Q min 30 picosecond, setup time 40 picosecond, hold time 20 picosecond. These parameters are same for all the flops for simplicity. Now the max delay for all the logic gates in picture is 80 picosecond and min delay is 60 picosecond. First question is to identify the critical path. It can be seen that there are four contenders for the critical path as all of them traverses through three logic gates. But if we look closely, the highlighted path goes through the input of the first OR gate that has a fan out of 3. High fan out means large output capacitance and large output capacitance will slow the output transition of the previous gate, thereby increasing its propagation delay. So any of these two paths can be pointed out as a critical path. Second question is to find the operating frequency. Starting with the setup equation for the worst case scenario, that is the slowest path. We can write the equation as launch edge plus clock to Q delay max plus max delay of the OR gate, max delay of the AND gate and max delay of the second OR gate should be less than or equal to capture clock edge minus setup time. Let's rearrange the equation a bit. Now the capture clock edge minus the launch clock edge is the time period. Simplifying this equation we reach at a maximum frequency of 3 GHz. Moving to the third question, how much clock skew can it tolerate before resulting in a hold violation? For this we will need the hold equation for the worst case scenario that is the fastest path. Using the hold equation which is launch edge plus clock to Q min delay plus min delay of the AND gate plus min delay of the OR gate should be greater than or equal to capture edge plus T skew plus T hold. Let's rearrange this equation. Now hold is checked on the same edge so both the launch clock edge and the capture clock edge is the same. It can be cancelled now. So the only unknown is T skew. After solving the equation the maximum tolerable skew is 130 picosecond. Next question. Can anything be done related to the logic to increase its performance? The boolean expression for this combinational block is A and B ORD with A and B or C ORD with B and B or C. Let's try to simplify this boolean expression. Simplifying it, we can reduce the boolean expression to B or A and C. Now the highest number of logic levels has reduced from 3 to 2. So now let's use this new block and determine the maximum frequency of operation. The maximum frequency of operation has increased from 3 GHz to 4 GHz. Fifth question, can you draw the schematic for it? This is the schematic for B or with A and C. Moving to the next question, can you reduce the transistor count? Let's first determine the total count of the transistors. AND gate is constructed using an AND gate with a NOT gate. Same goes for an OR gate which is constructed using a NOR gate and a NOT gate. So for a 2 input NAND gate or an OR gate, we need 4 transistors. And for a NOT gate, we need 2 transistors. So the total transistor count is 12. Let's try to convert AND or OR gate to a universal gate which is NAND or NOR. Modifying the Boolean expression B or A and C in the manner depicted in the slide, the transistor count can be reduced to 10 from 12. Now let's have a look at the schematic for both versions. This is the schematic for the original version. And this is the schematic for the modified one. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.